we've just left Blenheim behind us. We're heading now towards Westport, town of Murchison, and the Buller Gorge. And just the start of some of the mountain ranges of the South Island. These are just babies. Hopefully we'll get to see some of the Southern Alps as we get further south. Although the forecast it's a bit grim as far as the rain goes. We'll see what happens. Very big wine producing area around uh, Blenheim as you can see. Vineyards on one side, vineyards on the other. Air Force Base on our left hand side here. Somewhere around here is where this Air Force Museum is. Displays that have been put together by Weta Workshop, Peter Jackson and co. So it would be a real good thing to see, which I hope we will do on our way back towards the north. In about six days time. Beat this beautiful early morning light, beautiful road, beautiful hills, historic place 300 metres on the right. I wonder what that's all about. It's got a windmill and everything, a water trough. Horse drawn coaches must have stopped there way back in the day. Well, the last time I came down this road, I was just working that out, uh, it was about 32 or 33 years ago. <laughs> My god, I'm getting old. And I was travelling in the other direction, coming up from Westport. I was on my BSA B33, the bike that I've still got, that's buried in the back of my shed somewhere. And it was absolutely bucketing it down. It was one of the wettest rides I've ever had in my life. So I really didn't see much of the scenery. So this is very pleasant today. Uh, we caught up with a fellow biker up here. Let's play. So, oh, here okay. comes our mate <laughs> with the BMW Euro. <laughs> Oh yeah, hey, hey, hey! Yes, man. <laughs> so day one of the adventure, and the venturing is happening. Started off with a bird strike on the FJR. Did no damage apart left leaving some schmoo on the windscreen and on the helmet. But around about exactly the same time, one of Aaron's bags that he had tied on the back came loose, got caught up in the wheel there. He kept it up for a long time, but oh bugger. Broke the bloody foot peg bracket. Here's his tire mark. So he ended up here and he locked up way down the road there. So the fact that he kept it up that long He's a bit of a legend. And he's limping, but he's okay. So we're going to carry on, leave the bike here to be picked up. And it looks like I will be doing this trip with a pillion after all. Only it won't be my gorgeous wife. It'll be a big gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. And then there were three. Yeah. And one poor forlorn <laughs> bike waiting for a tow truck or some sort of recovery vehicle. 
Oh, what a bugger. So. Could have been worse. Oh, family. Yeah, I, yeah, I panicked when it, it went that way and then it was sort of, I managed to put away the Marty. Squiggles. Mate, keeping it up for that long is not panicking. That's family. impressive, boy. That really is impressive. Like your your shit was on the road way before that black mark started. So it's peeled open the bag. Yeah. Yeah, far out, man. Hey, <laughs> when you're ready. Oh, it's on hard anyway. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, just climb. You know, my oh, missus yeah. climbs on like that. Jesus. Friendly oh, Marty. Fucking heavier than my missus. <laughs> <laughs> oh. ah. Right. Well, right. we're going to go now, okay? Yeah. These guys can catch up. I'm in, I'm in contact with Dad. Well, oh, yeah. I'm going to stand up for a sec. adventure poor old Aaron's bike is beside the road and now I'm two up and to be quite honest the FJR doesn't even feel it although I certainly feel it when he climbed on 